Hi guys, I've got a video for you about hairpin nap. Well, the first part, I'm going to explain what a hairpin nap is and why it's important for if you want to host your own stuff. And the second part is how to set it up properly in an easy way without um, hard coding your WAN address with MicroTik routers. Enjoy, and uh, I think I'm pretty close to 5,000, so do share and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, so I'm keen for you all to know how to host your own service. And the easiest way to do that is on a typical home um, network. So a typical home network is that you have your internet IP address, and that gets sort of translated to a local LAN IP address typically um, and the translation happens through this thing called NAT so network address translation and the router actually does a, a lot of things and as you know I recommend the Microtech and it you know does a whole bunch of services on mine like DHCP, PPPoE and the firewall and you know, other stuff like wireless management and, and, and just routing packets so LAN addresses are usually of the of the shape 192.168, but that can also be the, in the 10 space, 172 space. I like to use 192.168, and 88 is the MicroTik default. So the problem is, is that say I'm hosting my Pi on a fixed IP address, infrastructure should be on a fixed IP address. So this thing is part of my infrastructure. It's on 192.168.88.5, and I want to connect to port 22. So the way I do that is typically I would SHH to that to that local IP. But if I want to host it on the internet and have like one configuration uh, to SHH to port 22 of the, of, of the internet uh, IP address, I need to set up a thing called... Da -da 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 -da. I forgot to mention, right, you could just with any router set up port forwarding from so that you forward port 22 to the local 192.168.88.5.22 that is the normal solution to this sort of problem but that means that if you want to SHH locally to that Pi you would have to maintain that local address somehow um, because if you use the WAN address to SHH in H in it wouldn't work because the router by default doesn't do this hairpin thing where it maps the internal thing through the WAN. Um, I hope that you yeah, hope you got that. Hope you got that. Hairpin net. So the idea is is that I actually SSH to the WAN address and how does it work? <laughs> You can imagine here, just basically I'm looping back the Pi through the NAT so that I can connect to it on the WAN address. When I when I want to connect to my Pi, it works whether I'm at home or whether I'm out in a cafe somewhere on the internet. So I hope that's clear what a hairpin NAT is, right? In an ideal world, you give your machine a silly little name like I've done here, Pi TV. And no matter where you are in the world, you can easily connect to it. In practice, that's a little tricky. So, assuming you have Microtik um, router here, you can configure it to do a couple of things to make things easier. So, here's my SSH config. First off, you want to give the device a reliable IP name. Now, the way I accomplish it, accomplish it with the microtech is that I use this IP cloud service, which is basically a DD DNS client, so that w when the microtech comes online, it publishes um, the the IP address which I see name pj.debase.com to. So addressing this network's IP, <laughs> that's one problem solved. Another problem that that one ha might have is port 22 for some reason is blocked by the ISP here in Malaysia. So I run um, 
I configure my Raspberry Pi to also listen on port 2222. Uh, 2, 2, 2. As you can see there. Now, once you've got port 2222 configured, IP Cloud configured, the next really tricky part is hairpin NAT. Now, the trouble with Microtik is their documentation kind of sucks and their wiki is for, you can't, the community can't edit the wiki. So the hairpin NAT wiki page is slightly misleading because you have to keep track of your WAN address. Now I have a method which I've come to learn from the Microtik IRC channel on Freenode where you don't need to um, know the the WAN address and that method is in this gist here and now whether I'm in a in a cafe or whether I'm home it's very simple to connect to the the Pi here which is awesome and by the way I had problems with the Pi earlier I replaced it with a new uh, PSU and now it's working fantastically so if you have problems with the Pi get a decent PSU I also just wanted to add that I'm I'm, exp I'm trying out the Microtik exporter link link below with the Grafana and now I can sort of plot <laughs> the usage of our our internet connection and as you can see we're pretty he hectic see this is this is where my son um, triggered the uh, what do you call it power cycle the, the Microtik all the counters get reset on a on a <clears throat> on a power cycle unfortunately and yeah you can even track errors and all sorts of stuff using um, a Microtech exporter to Prometheus so I hope you found the the hairpin trick useful obviously it doesn't just apply to SSH it's useful for doing the web stuff too please give the video a like sorry I have a cold please subscribe and all that jazz